Hey y'all, it's Brett. And I'm Steven. And we're here to tell you our five things. Five things. That we want for 2017. Okay. Number, five. Number five. For me, mm -hmm. I would like to um, be able to walk around New York City a lot more calmly <laughs> and not try and rush around. Like, cause a lot of the times, like I'm just rushing to get out of the chaos and I would like to be more at peace while walking through the chaos. So just in New York City or in life? <laughs> Mostly in New York City. I mean, maybe in life, but in New York City. <laughs> That's mostly. where you notice it the most. That's where I notice it the most. <laughs> and I need to just bring it back. I love that because I think that goes with my number five, which is I want to be more loving and more forgiving and more accepting of others. And so, I, you know, practicing meditation every day and really focusing on my spiritual health as well as, you know, all the, all the other stuff that I'm working on. So, right, number four. Number four. I would like to be more in practice of prayer and meditation every day because mm -hmm. I have not been um, very good at that recently. And I think that that would help me to achieve my goal for number five. <laughs> I love that. I was gonna say number four for me is to eat a little bit cleaner and eat a little bit healthier. I do pretty good about physical exercise and I feel like if I could just, you know, health, like get my food to be as healthy or healthier, I might see better results in my physical performance as well. That's my goal. That's good. Okay, good. Yours too. Number, Number three. three! Number three for me is to be um, really consistent with um, just being physical, like whether it's taking ballet class uh, or working out, but it's just to just like remain consistent and not have like any drop off. Yeah, and number three for me, I think, is that it's it kind of in the same line that what you just described me is to be more consistent in all of my creative endeavors. So, you know, more consistent on my YouTube channel, and I've got some really good ideas that I'm gonna start launching at the end of the month. Um, for this channel and also more consistent in my life coaching business and putting that out into the world a little bit more and I'm also writing a screenplay and I want to make sure I'm stay really consistent on that and I think that for me sometimes I get distracted very easily by other creative ideas and I really want to just like hone in on these things for like six months so that I can really see a huge accomplishment. Number two. Number two. I think for me is to, um, I have something that I want to start doing to, um, you know, maybe try and make some um, outside income. I'm not going to say what that is right now, but I'm just really excited about this thing I want to do. And I want to make sure that instead of just talking about it, that next week when I'm in New York that I'm going to start doing it and then I'll be able to tell you about it. Number two for me, I really want to be better about um, acknowledging people's birthdays and celebrations and anniversaries. That's one of the things I put down for myself this year is that I want to make sure I get gifts to my brothers and my parents for Father's Day, Mother's Day, anniversary, birthdays. I'm never great about that. I usually, if I remember, it's usually after the fact or just the day of and I call them. And this year, I really want to make a resolve that I get something to them because I'm in a place now, work-wise, where I can actually like think ahead a little bit. <laughs> and I want to be more uh, acknowledging and cognizant of that. All right, okay. and number one! <laughs> this is going to sound really silly. But to be more of like a joiner, um, so if I notice um, for me that um, I like to just go home a lot, which is great, I don't know, I'm like a big homebody. But I think for me, I'm gonna try, if there's like social gatherings, um, I should go. You know what I mean? Because the most important part about life is being around people and creating relationships and feeling loved and giving love and um and I think that that would be a really big gift and it's like something really simple that I can do. Number one for me is finances. I really want to save and make enough money that this year we can start the process of having a baby 
And for us, being two men, <laughs> that isn't gonna be a cheap endeavor, and so I really want us to you know, put some focus on income and on savings so that maybe by the end of the year we've started the process. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Yay! All right, now if you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up, subscribe to this channel. Right now, there's a contest. I'm trying to get to a thousand subscribers on my YouTube channel. So, uh, I'm offering, once I hit a thousand subscribers, I'm offering one person, one subscriber, two tickets to see Paramore on Broadway. Or, if you can't make it to New York, you can get a free life coaching session with me. So we do that over the phone, and it's super easy. All you have to do is help, uh, is subscribe to this channel, share this video or any of my videos with anybody. <laughs> on Facebook, on Twitter, Make sure you tweet me, tweet Stephen R. Hanna. Um, thanks for joining us. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Tell us your resolutions. Tell us your resolutions. In the comments below.